Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokémon Ultra Sun Let's Play walkthrough, my very first journey through these brand new Pokémon games. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, make sure you answer the comment question, and if you missed the last episode, you're going to want to go check that out. You want to make sure you caught up on all the League. But as you can see... Oh, I did receive this product free from Nintendo. Um, as you can see from the glowing lines, we have defeated the Elite Four. So we are now about to step on that glowy rainbow circle and battle the champion. And I'm a little bit nervous because clearly there's been quite a few changes to the Elite Four. Uh, their levels are higher. My levels are higher than in Sun and Moon as well. Um, but I don't know what Kakui's team's going to look like uh, if it's still Kakui. So uh, let's find out. I'm Incineroar in the lead. I got my held items and stuff fixed at the end of last episode. Um... I suppose I could have done it now, but oh well. <laughs> Wait, what? They're not going to let me sit on the chair? Oh, they are. Okay. They just wanted me to look at it. Can I walk behind it? Huh, I can. That's kind of funny. All right. All right. About to battle Kakui. Let's do this, dude. Oh yeah, now you're the Pokemon League Champion! Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want that title. Alright, Kakui, let's do it. Of course, that trainer is me! Woo! Just ki- What? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! That's why they didn't have a rival battle before the league! Something kind of hit me after I finally beat my old Gramps in an all-out serious battle. You're kind of my hero, Michael. You and your team are, I mean. Because I really look up to you. I really want to have a serious battle against you. I really want to be able to win against you. Because it's way more fun when Pokemon and their trainers are all friends and get along. Then they can do something really amazing. Holy crap, it's how. Gen 1 vibes! Rival is the champion! Well, kind of. But the final battle. Is the music different? The music is different. Raichu! That's a great lead for an Incineroar! Yes! <laughs> Alright, let's Darkest Lariat. I don't think we need to Z move, because I'm pretty sure we. Let's go! Focus Blast! You never use that move, it'll always miss! I dig the music, though! Alright, Raichu goes down. That thing was a pain in the bootay earlier in this playthrough. Because I, <laughs> I didn't have a solid ground type to use against it. I mean, I had, like... I really dig this music, though. Oh my gosh. I need to stop talking over it. But I kind of have to commentate. That's why you guys are watching this. Vaporeon. Okay, yeah, my only Pokemon that's getting its water types is you. Kind of... Kind of have to use you, Bike Volt. <laughs> Hello. Thunderbolt. You don't know your base stats, how? Ion's attack is already terrible! That Vaporeon was a giant pain earlier, too! <laughs> I'm getting my revenge! Abominable! Oh, okay, okay! Who's good against you? Halucha is. Let's use Halucha. This flying press is really good against him. I think it might be four times super effective. I kind of feel bad that like he's like let's have an all-out serious battle and I'm like 
I'm warned of who's going to be sent in ahead of time, which is an advantage that he does not have. <laughs> Tauros! Okay, we'll keep him against the Tauros. We got the type advantage against that. Oh, nuts. Okay, hopefully this still can one-shot. Maybe? Hopefully? Crap. Is that enough recall to KO? Ah! I think he full restores here. Yeah. Okay, let's just use another brick break. What's he got left? He's definitely got Noivern because he had Noibat. And then Decidueye. Okay. We need all those. Noivern. All right. Ah, oh, you're so cool. <laughs> Feel bad having to KO you. Oh, it's faster? Oh, please don't flinch me. Yeah! Alright, and the last one I believe is Decidueye. Alright. Alright, well, you know who we gotta use for this. The epic Alola starter battle. Old rivals, old friends. Let's do this. I love that smile. Malicious moonsault. It's over! We've done it! We have defeated it! We have defeated how? Gonna keep moving forward by staying at full power all the time. Oh, is he crying? I wish it was still Kakui. I felt fine beating the crap out of Beating the crap out of him. I feel bad beating the crap out of Hal. <laughs> I managed to pull off something pretty amazing while my partners and I were all in sync and wanting the same thing. It looks like we're still one step away from being the strongest trainer in team. But you know what's funny? Even though we lost, that was more exciting than any other battle I've ever had till now. Everything's all mixed up inside me. It was so fun and so frustrating and just... Yep, yeah, it was just awesome, really. Oh man, I'm sweating. Amazing! You and I are both amazing, Michael! It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokémon choose together in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. And you just proved me right! Congrats, cousin! You're a champion we can all be proud of! I told you, didn't I? Up there on Mount Hakulani? Man, the Pokémon and the trainers in Alola really are the best! I want everyone in the world to know that too! That's always been my dream! And right here, right now, it finally came true. And it's all thanks to you, Michael. You and your Incineroar. That's right. So I assume now we have to be a part of a buttload of cutscenes. I'm so happy I got to see that flaming up battle here, right where my dreams came true. And now, Michael, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. It's time we record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. I don't know about eternity. You're probably doing this with the computer, right? I feel like computers are going to fade out, but... Oh, we get to see my cool team circling around me! 
I this playthrough has made me like Incineroar a lot more than I used to. Halucha, I'm so glad I finally got to use one. Garchomp, finally, so glad I got to use one. It was worth the effort. Toxapex, again, so glad I finally got to use one. Vikavolt, Totem Vikavolt was incredible. And Alolan Ninetales, like, this team, I really like this team. So many Pokemon I'd never gotten to use before and wanted to use. And then, like, a freaking Totem Vikavolt, which had the most clutch defeat of, like, Ultra Necrozma of all time. That was amazing. Like, I'm legit serious. Like, these last, this last year and a half might have made... Like, I, I think I might have passed up Sceptile as my favorite Pokemon of all time. Like, it's just, it's incredible. It's so good. Oh, man, what a great team. I really like this team. I feel, like, pretty equally attached to this team and my Sun team. I loved my Sun team, but I really love this team, too. Oh, man. So cool. So freaking cool. All right. Let's uh see what everything else is after this Are they gonna auto save earlier than they did in sun and moon because that sucked oh hey fam you really do love your pokemon with all your heart don't you michael yep that's precisely why he and his pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious now we're all going to be aiming for your seat i hope you're ready for some rivals come on michael Let's go celebrate you becoming Lola's first ever champion together with everybody. My old Gramps said we'd have an awesome party no matter which one of us won. I still think it's interesting they chose to have Melane replace um, Hala instead. I figured, I thought he was going to replace Kahili. Alright Michael, let's buzz to U-turn for Melee Melee Island. We're going to have a big festival in Iki Town. Don't worry, I'll be sure to let Lily know too. Woo! I wonder if the festival is all that different. Oh god, I have to battle Taipu Coco. Crap. Credits. Maybe I don't. This is the credits now. Okay. I think this is for the best. <laughs> Michael Fujiwara. Aw, they love each other so much. Sophocles is so happy to see Melane. <laughs> Aw, such cute relationships. They all love each other. Mallow, all the captains. There's Mom. There's wow. Can you always dancing up a storm? There's Lily and Hapu. Nihai! <laughs> Mudsail will always be the Nihai Pokemon. <laughs> that fire is so funny! There he is, the first Pokemon League champ Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for celebration, so let's all get to it. Woo, we're all gonna cheer for you, yeah! Yahweh is still just dancing. Gladian's being creepy. Lily's so like, everybody's so happy, just so cool. <laughs> Pretty similar scenes, they're just putting the credits over it this time. Team Skull, what? What's going on here? Is this the scene of him disbanding Team Skull? Oh, look at that. Yeah, they added in a scene of him disbanding it. It was Plumeria telling him, it's over. And they're all like, no! This sucks! <laughs> oh, now they're all punk guys and punk girls. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's a cool little scene. I'm glad they added that. Hey, Plumeria's smiling. I don't know if we got to see that in the last game. Oh, are these guys gonna tell us about Zygarde now? Is that what this is revealing? What's next? What is this? Whoa! Whoa! Hello! Oh, now Zygarde is in that cave! 
All right, all right. Cool. Ultra Recon Squad hanging out here at Ether Paradise. Talking to Colress, who is no, no longer a bad guy and really should be in prison, honestly. Faba is, what's Faba doing? Being sketch. Oh, he was in that poster for uh, Rainbow Rocket. That's probably a foreshadowing of that. Everyone doing Z moves. Oh yeah, their own dance, their own, their own Z move, huh? Mina, why are you in the bag? <laughs> Why weren't you with everyone else, you weirdo? That was funny. What's Gladian doing? What are they doing? Are they trying to, is he leaving and they're trying to tell him don't go? Interesting. He's on a boat. Where is he going? Is he going to a new region? Is he going to Kanto or something? I guess since... Yeah, since Lusamine isn't all poisoned and is like still running ether... She can... He doesn't have to be the one to run ether. Like he was in... Sun and Moon. Guess he's leaving for another region, I guess. Decides he wants to go on an adventure with his pretty solid team. I really like how different this credits scene is. I really hope I don't have to battle Tabu Koko right now. <laughs> We're talking to the altar though, so that's scary. Hmm. Oh. Okay, looks like they're not making me do it now. It's just like, a, hey, you can come back later and do this. Which I'm grateful for. That was annoying to have to try and do that right after the league. Like, after the league, you want a break. So what's gonna happen to Lily, I wonder? Because at the end of Sun and Moon, she didn't, she went to Kanto to try and save Lusamine. But now since Lusamine's fine, she shouldn't have to do that. So are we gonna get to hang out with her? Hmm. Squad. Look at this. Everybody's so fired up. Whoa! We got the birth of Alola's strongest ever trainer to celebrate, after all. The battle tree begs to differ. I may have lost, but I'm gonna keep working hard to be totally in sync with my partners and pull out my Pokemon's full power. And then, I'm coming for you, Champion Michael. Michael. Sorry, I mean champion. I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. Come on and show us those partners that were there for so many of your discoveries, new experiences, and adventures on your island challenge. Are they actually gonna show the models this time? Because I really hope they do. Last time it's just like it just like camera pans up and you don't get to see them. Please let us see the models in the overworld with everyone. Please. You're positively glowing. Thanks, Mom. You're so sweet. Nah. Alright, we don't get to see him. Bummer. Well, at least Incineroar came out of the ball right before the league. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, this is great! I love these little, these little chibi dancing things. Okay, so there's still more credits. Well, I'm sticking around for these credits, because last time, I didn't, 
and it auto saved after the credits and I'm gonna sit here until I make sure this thing freaking auto saves learned that lesson in Sun if you watched that last year that sucked I like finished the episode I was like alright guys I'm gonna let the credits play I let them roll and then like ended the episode when the credits finished but then like when I went back to my 3DS I like didn't realize that it hadn't saved yet and I just turned it off and so oh it's gonna be all the totem Pokemon I love it Oh man, I want access to that Araquanid, like, sprite art, gif, gif, whatever you call it. I hope someone can, like, rip that later. Because that's really cool. I love these little pixel art sprite things. But yeah, so then, like, after recording episode, that, that final episode, I had to do it again off camera. Because <laughs> I had, like, ah, uh, it sucked. So I'm not making that mistake again. I'm gonna let this go until I see saving the game don't turn off the power <laughs> oh that's so these are so awesome I love these they're so cute so we didn't see the cutscene of Lily leaving for Kanto so we're gonna get more interactions with her so that's pretty cool What's the next totem after this? It's Lorantis. I wonder what Lorantis is going to be doing. Togo tomorrow dancing is going to be cute. Mimikyu too. And then Kamo. -O? That's going to be funny. And then it's Rabombi is the last one. Lorantis. <laughs> doing like a little kick stuff. <laughs> I love it. Lots of credits for this game. My goodness. Because they have to include all the uh, the credits for everybody who did the translating and stuff. This is kind of reminiscent of the, uh, you know, I, it's just fresh in my mind because I played Silver recently. But this credits is reminiscent of that, just like dancing sprite art on the. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Dancing sprite art on the screen like silver's credits had that I had like dancing elicate and stuff like that um, So I, I I like the I like these credits a lot um, I guess I should say this now We finished the league series super not over definitely gonna be doing all the post game stuff in the let's play like the rainbow rocket stuff uh, I'd like to hunt some legendaries on camera. We'll have to see, because it's kind of unpredictable which ones you're going to find. So I might do, like, several episodes of me just, like, going through the wormhole and hunting and, like, seeing what I run into. Um, we'll see. But definitely... Definitely stick around, because this is not the last episode. I just, like... I don't want to end it until I make sure... That the freaking credits, like... <laughs> I need to see it save. I need to see it save on camera before I leave this chair. <laughs> we have two more totem Pokemon to go. And also, there might be like more cutscenes after the credits, which, like, I hope not. Like, that would be stupid. But I have to pay attention. Kamo looks like. That looks like, um. One thing I just realized is these kind of look like, if you guys ever played Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, and Sapphire, and, like, the, when the Pokemon you can catch is, like, on the, uh, on, like, the, the play field, and you, like, hit it with a ball, it'll, like, flinch or, like, do something that, and I'm like, eh, that's what Kama-O kind of looks like right now. It's like, you know, like, when it gets hit, it's like, err. <laughs> well, all of them kind of look like it's, you know, similar art style, like the forward-facing 2D sprites. Z Power Rotom Dex planning, interesting. Rabombi. So cute. Great game though. I mean, similar to Sun and Moon, but a lot of really solid improvements and very fun. Very fun. Got to use a lot of Pokemon that I had not used before, which I uh, thoroughly enjoyed. I actually think this playthrough, the only of my team, I never used five of them in a playthrough before. The only ones I had used, the only one I'd used before was Vikable, and it was a totem Vikable. Like, so good, guys. Like, I feel kind of bad for ditching Sceptile, but like, the older I get, the more I care about how good a Pokemon is when deciding how much I like it. 
And Vikavolt's like, you know, it's not that great in competitive, but I don't play competitive. Vikavolt's really good in playthroughs. And Sceptile just like, ah, I wish his special moveset was bigger. There's so many special moves they could have him learn. Besides grass moves, dragon pulse, and focus blast, and hidden power. Everybody can learn hidden power, so it's like... Executive producer Satoshi Tajiri. Tatsumi Kishimi... Alright, missed that. Developed by Game Freak. Is this the end of the credits? Please save my game. No! Okay, there was a cutscene! Why do they do this? <laughs> Is that it? Huh. Are they gonna show this to me in every language? Why did they do two languages? They know what language I chose for the game. Freaking finally! Oh my god! Why do they wait so long to save the game? I guess to just make sure you watch the freaking credits. I really want you to watch those. Alright guys, while it says the end on my screen, it is not the end. More episodes are coming of this series. I hope you're excited for them. I definitely am. Lots of super fun post-game stuff to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. And that's all I have for now. So until next time, Pokefans, gotta catch them all!